A panic attack is a sudden attack of exaggerated anxiety and fear. Often attacks happen without warning and without any apparent reason. As we have discussed before, some people may experience just one episode of a panic attack, while others can have recurring episodes. Recurring episodes usually happen after a person is exposed to various events or situations that may trigger panic. While it is generally harmless, panic attacks can severely disable a person physically, emotionally, and psychologically. In extreme cases, panic attacks can lead to panic disorder. Who gets panic attacks? The condition affects many people. It is believed that 10% of the total population suffer from panic attacks, yet many are still undiagnosed or underdiagnosed. They tend to occur more in young adults. Women are twice as prone to have an attack as men. It is also said that the condition is genetically inherited so panic attacks may run in the family. How do you know if you are having an attack? A panic attack can be identified by different signs and symptoms. They include increased heartbeat or palpitation, chest pain, hyperventilation or shortness of breath, upset or stomach churning stomach, trembling and shaking, muscle tension, sweating, dizziness and lightheadedness, hot or cold flashes, tingling sensation or numbness, fear of dying, going crazy or losing control, and feeling detached from the surroundings. What causes a panic attack? Many panic attacks happen without any apparent reason, they just come out of the blue. However, attacks may be caused by past traumatic experiences such as the death of a loved one, family conflicts, bad relationships, divorce of parents, a car accident, or public humiliation. An attack may occur when a person is exposed to various events or situations almost similar to the past that may trigger panic. Stress is closely linked to panic attacks. Triggers include a stressful life event as well as a stressful working or living environment. What should you do during an attack? Panic attacks peak from 5 to 10 minutes and rarely last for more than half an hour. But during this time, you can experience discomfort such as those signs and symptoms mentioned above. Since an increased heart rate is the main reason for experiencing other symptoms, it is important to take control of your breathing during an attack. Breathe slowly and deeply as you can. Breathe in slowly for three counts, then hold your breath for the next three slow counts. Then exhale for three slow counts. Do this until you are calm. If you are able to stand, get up slowly and walk around. It is also helpful to breathe into a plastic or a paper bag. This allows you to rebreathe your carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide helps correct the blood acid level that had been disturbed by excessive breathing. While practicing deep breathing, try to focus your attention away from the cause of panic. Replace your anxious thoughts with happy ones. If available, do something that will occupy your mind such as solving puzzles and playing word games.